It's Tata's Tata Tuesday, and we are dealing with this poop storm, the poop apocalypse, X-Men apocalypse, Fox apologizes for X-Men apocalypse billboard showing Jennifer Lawrence getting choked. Now, people have made this into a violence against women thing, and that's why this is on Tata's Tuesday. You'll see in this article, uh, and this is a snarky article, and this is why I picked this one, because I'm not pleased with the way this article frames this issue. You'll see here uh, Rose McGowan urging others to yell at Fox about using imagery of a violent act against a woman to sell a movie. And then at the end, you see, wasn't there any other picture they could have used, or even better, an image of Apocalypse choking Cyclops? No one likes Cyclops. I happen to like Cyclops, first and foremost. So, piss off, Adweek, but uh, I think this is wrong-headed. This idea that Mystique is a woman, and therefore this image is uniquely wrong, I have issues with. I isolated the image, so you can get a better look at it. Um, and right off the top, most of the people I talked to, most of the people I chatted with on Twitter about this agreed that the image is too violent when pictured in the context of the fact that these ads, th this is the billboard, but there's also the, the movie marquee version. And some of these movie theaters are put right next to food courts with children's play areas in them. So imagine your, you know, darling four-year-old playing around and seeing this in the background. No, it is too violent for public marketing. It is. But the fact that Mystique is a woman should have nothing to do with it. Because first of all, Mystique can shape change. And there have been times that she has shape changed into a man. Um, and would it be better if Mystique was in some male form and was choked by the supreme bad guy of a movie? I have trouble defending this. But also, this is not a scene of domestic violence. This isn't. Domestic violence is a unique thing and it's very complicated and it's too much to get into here. But it's not just a man choking a woman. If there is, say, a mixed martial arts tournament and a woman decides to compete in a mixed gender event, the man is not, the man who is her opponent is not going to avoid hitting her because she is a woman. She is a combatant she is considered an equal, and she chose to be there. Domestic violence is something much more complicated, and I think most thinking people realize that. Now, my issue with this turning into a gender thing is this minimizes Mystique as a superhero. And I don't want to give spoilers for the movie. Um, I can't really recommend the movie. I found the movie boring and pandering. But um, the... The way Mystique is used in this film, in context, this scene is actually pretty powerful in an overall mediocre film. But out of context, it's just, it is violence to sell a film, not violence against women, violence to sell a film. And that caused me to go, all right, I can see why, why people wouldn't want this displaying in an area where their little darlings are playing, but is this out of step with movie posters for violent films? And it turned out it very much was. I could only find two movie posters that even closely approximated what Fox did with this marketing, which tells me they should have known better. Not because she's a woman, but because it's just violent. And people need to be able to opt into violence, not have it forced on them in their day-to-day -day life. The first one I found was Reservoir Dogs. And yes, this seems less violent uh, because they're not touching. But it, it is a moment of extreme violence. And there's one person clearly dominating the other person. I, I don't want to spoil uh, the movie. for. And you'll see this is a French poster. The... American posters were just for the four guys walking down the street, that sort of iconic movie moment. This is a French poster. So this didn't even run in the US, so we can't even use this as a fair point of comparison. This is European marketing. The only other thing I could find was this, and I don't even know if this is fan-made or what, but 
I think it's fair only because this image was widely circulated to market the film. Now, widely circulated on the internet is very different than something being on a billboard in a public place. I think we can all agree. But yes, this is a woman in peril. Um, somebody shared this image, not the, the poster, but somebody shared this image with me as like a point of comparison, and they're right. This is probably the closest we can get to Apocalypse Choking Mystique. And again, you know, Ripley was possibly the first successful modern age female superhero in a film, in, in, a, in a mass market film. But it's a horror film, and the entire purpose of Ripley being female was to make people feel more protective of her, which is something that's been borrowed by a lot of video game developers who use female protagonists. It doesn't work. The audience response was not, we want to protect Ripley. The audience response was, Ripley's a badass. And this has happened in video games as well. And good for the audience. The audience is smarter than the filmmakers. The problem is it's too violent. And if it's too violent, it shouldn't matter if it's committing violence against a man or committing violence against a woman. It is too violent for public advertising. And that is a fair point. Trying to make it into a gender issue, however, I think minimizes female superheroes and unfairly shackles the depictions of women in these active roles. I mean, if a female is a police officer, should she have to do less dangerous work? No. If a woman is a firefighter, should she have to do less dangerous work? No. If a woman is a mixed martial artist, should she have to do less dangerous work? No. If a woman is in the armed services, if she is in the Army, Navy, or Air Force, should she have to do less dangerous work? No. If we are to believe that women are equal to men and, you know, can do the things that men can do equally well, then being put in harm's way in first responder and peacekeeper rules is part of that deal. And there is a huge PR problem with the armed services. For people who don't know, the, the delay in putting women on the front lines, and I've, I've talked to people internally about this, is not that they don't think women can do the job. It's that the PR of women coming home in body bags is catastrophic for the war effort. And so if we really want women to be able to be equal to men, we have to knock off this coddling and accept that women who choose to do dangerous stuff, like Mystique does in this movie, and it's a major plot point that she chooses to do this stuff, will get put in peril. And we can't say that's somehow worse than men being shown as being violented on by other men. It's not domestic abuse. That's not the paradigm. We have to separate it from that. It's a superhero doing something to another superhero. That being said, I do agree it is still too violent.